Sorry to jump in, everybody. We've got another meeting to go to. So, um, are your heads already a little bit full? Because all the brilliant stuff that people have been talking about, my head's starting to get full and thinking, what can I do tomorrow? How can I apply this in my lessons? So what I just wanted to talk to you about very quickly was going back to go forward, really. Because how often do we think about the cake? Do we? <laughs> uh, me too. But often we focus on the icing. And sometimes I come away from a teaching and I think, yeah, I'm going to go and use iPads, and I'm going to go every, every lesson, and Twitter, and I'm going to blog, and I'm going to do absolutely everything. And I've seen lessons like this, so as part of the leadership team I observe a lot of lessons. And I've seen some people trying loads of great icing with no cake, and it falls flat on its face, and the kids don't learn. And that's devastating. So, I know that this is all well known to all of you in here, but I just wanted to talk to you about questioning. And there's a couple of things that I want to focus on. So things like pose, pause, pounce, bounce. If you don't do it, just do it. It's brilliant. Pose a question, wait, pounce on students, then bounce it around. It works brilliantly. Thinking time. Why do we ask questions like, like a machine gun? It needs to be waiting time for the students. Otherwise, you're just going to get very, very shallow learning, very, very shallow uh, answers. No hands up. This really should be a school policy in every school in the country. Why would you ever just take questions off all the students that got their hands up? It just doesn't make sense. Because actually you want everybody to be listening, you want everybody engaged, and you want everybody to be able to answer a question. And even if a student says, I don't know, they say, well, what would you say if you did know? So, no hands up. Planning questions. But one of the key things, and I'm gonna, I've only got 10 seconds, is you need a safe environment and encourage wrong answers and having a go. There's loads more of these here, including hinge questions, but I want, to take, I want you to have a look at that. There's nothing else to take away. I always bring a, pop, a prop, because um, we like to do that at Finnell Park, like Mark did. Unfortunately, I went, I picked up the wrong thing out of uh, my fruit basket. But, Apple. Thank you very much, everybody. Have a great evening.